What's going on, y'all? Black Ink Crew, you know, season three, episode 14, I believe. Or, yeah, 14. Water, what is it? Water Slash and Shade. Okay, pause. So, look, listen. There is a new series coming, Black Ink Crew, the Chicago version, okay? Out here, a shop that's called Nine Mag or whatever the fuck, okay? I don't know how they get these shows or whatever, but I truly, I mean, I'm here for it because it's Chicago or whatever. And I'm I'm just trying to see what they act the ass. You know, let me see something. Just in case anybody from, you know, the new show runs across my video just so happily. I'm going to just put it like this. Ashley will be watching. Ashley is a fellow Chicago resident, born and raised, okay? And I will be judging. I'm watching it for the simple fact because I want to see, do y'all got more sense than these motherfuckers up in New York? And I ain't even talking about the whole New York. I'm talking about this fucking tattoo shop, Black Ink in New York. Are y'all just as fucking ignorant as them? Because truth be told, Ashley's going to go in if need be. All right, I'm finna go in on these dumb bitches right about now because the shit that, this episode was kind of disgusting to me. Like, it was just stupid and, you know, so fucking unprofessional. How are they still, I swear to God, like, where's the health department coming in, you know, making sure they shit together? How come ain't nobody done filed the lawsuit? I swear to God, I don't give a fuck what you say. I would have been called a lawsuit on their ass because that shit's some fucked up shit the way that they be doing some stuff. All right? Um, but yeah, I'll be checking it out October 26th, so I'm pretty sure that Black Ink probably be gone off, um, the week before. Um, but yeah, Monday nights and all that stuff. Ashley will be watching. Ashley will be checking because I got to see what the fuck this is, you know. Um, see who y'all are. Y'all probably, you know, probably South Luther. I don't know where the hell y'all located at, okay? Nine mag tattoo. You know, it's a good thing to see black businesses and stuff like that. But I would rather see black businesses when people got their shit together. And not on TV making a fucking fool and ignorant of themselves. That's what you do. That's what Black Ink do. There is nothing professional about this shit. Yeah, you can have a spot that's, you know, about its business and be chilled and, you know, you know, hang out a little bit. But you can still see that air of professionalism in there that makes people want to come. Now, nine and tens, I feel like people still come to Black Ink because it's still on TV. That's why. And they want to see the people there. I would never dare in my life get a fucking tattoo from Black Ink Crew. Okay? Because first of all, the tattoos have, that I've seen of yet have not looked that good. Have not looked that good. Okay? And, um... Duchess did a tattoo today on this episode of Jay Holiday. The, um... Gonna take you to bed, bed... I was like, what the fuck he did? He didn't cut his hair off. The last time I heard about him was recently he did some show and he cussed the audience member out because he was late or not that many people showed up and he was drunk as fuck on the stage. Okay, boo-boo. He wanted to get some um, scripture on on his arm and she freehand that. It looked... Okay, that's what it was. It, it wasn't nothing outstanding about it and I ain't even trying to hate. It just wasn't my cup of tea. Um... You know, talking about her relationship with Caesar and the reason why she's still up in New York is because of Caesar. You know, she really wants to go down to North Carolina once they had kids um, getting married. She don't want to have kids up here. And this is the shit, you know, the stuff that Duchess is talking about. Her and Caesar need to sit down and they need to talk about this shit and get it squared away because they're in two different places. Okay? Caesar ain't trying to leave New York. You know, she talking about something. I can, I stay down here in New York. You know, he could be able to come down in New, uh, North Carolina. No, you came down here for an apprenticeship or whatever the fuck it was to get your show together, or whatever in New York. You didn't come down here to find season and fall in love with him. You just so happened to fall in love with him while you was up here in New York. You know, so therefore, it's not really the same. But moving on from that, let's get on to season shit. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in another video, probably last season or the first half of this season or whatever. I don't give a fuck. Caesar is a despicable ass person. He's the most disrespectful, misogynistic, misogynistic, bitch, get your words right, unprofessional ass motherfucker that I've seen in a minute on TV, okay? And... I say this because this the way that he talks to women in general. 
He is so quick to call a motherfucker a bitch. He is so quick to go at them, you know, and get so deep into his feelings. Like, what real boss does that? Who runs their business like that and attack their um their employees like that? Okay? Granted, I don't care if they was wrong or not or they fucked up and did something. You do not talk to them that way. There is an air of professionalism that you're supposed to talk to them because nowadays anybody and everybody can sue you for any and every goddamn thing. And all your fucking actions are on this damn tape, okay? Your actions, Dutch's actions, and everybody else in that motherfucking shop. And if any one of them came up in there and been like, well, this motherfucker said this and it was caught on tape, there's the fucking evidence right there and there, okay? And I get it. Donna was fucked up, okay, in a sense, because, you know, after last week when she put that, first of all, Donna, you with this boy named Max, okay, last, the first half of this season, you know, you was up here crying over, oh shit, fighting his baby mama slash fiance over him, talking about you in love and all that stuff, fucking him and all this shit, you know, he don't, you, uh, oh shit, know me like this, and I know his heart, and I know where it want to be, and he want to be with me, and all this stuff, and now, you done hopped to another motherfucker, who ain't got, who took, did he get into a fight, that's how his tooth came out, we ain't even finna get into that, we ain't even finna get into that, you know, this old dirty bastard looking motherfucker, you just, I was just confused, I said, damn, at least you acknowledge that y'all moved real quick, cause y'all moved real quick and y'all moved in together. I said, well, fuck, how long did you know each other? He used to come into the shop and all that stuff, and I guess everybody else know him and, you know, all that shit. Whatever. So, Donna, you know, she fucked up the new apprentice, um back with the tattoo of her and all that shit. It looked like rose art. She did it with some rose art crayons, you know, the generic shit. And she just wasn't prepared. She just wasn't ready. Her thing is, she's ready to start tattooing people. You know, she feels like she should be a tattoo artist, a full tattoo artist by now. She's looking up stuff on a computer. She's trying to do freehand. Yes, you know, Caesar was trying to tell her, you're not there yet. Donna was trying to be a little headstrong and like, you know, I know what I'm doing. But obviously, you really don't. And let me tell you this. The next little scene was when, you know, Donna and um Caesar got into it. They got into it. I don't even give a damn what they got into it about. But she felt a little way because she felt like, you know, Caesar wasn't appreciating her or seeing her potential. Baby, the potential ain't really there yet. Okay? And to be quite honest, let me get on you, Caesar. You want to get mad at Donna because you pulled her outside and you talked to her about how her skills ain't up to par. She's been there for eight months and stuff ain't ready. But then in this moment, you fired her. Y'all get into an um, argument or whatever and you call her a bitch. You called her a fucking bitch, you dumbass bitch. You do not talk to your fucking employees like that, especially when you're firing them. Do you not see what shit's going on in this world? You don't know you gonna come across that wrong bitch that you gonna call a fucking bitch and she gonna come back up in that bitch and slice your ass. She gonna come back and she or he gonna come back up in that bitch and blow that shit up. You just don't know. You do not fuck with people like that. You do not talk to your employees nor your clients like that. Okay? You want to fire them, take them in the back and say you're fired. You know, this is the reason why I gotta let you go. You have to learn to control your anger because that's what a professional do. That's what a fucking professional do. Okay, you don't get so fucking upset and be on fucking camera and saying this dumbass bitch get the fuck out of my shop. You this. That's why that girl got pissed off, really pissed off, and she had every right to fucking come at your ass. She had every fucking right because ain't no way in hell, bitch. I'd have lost all fucking respect for you once you came at me like that. And you fuck it, you didn't already fire me, so fuck that shit, bitch. It's on. Okay, you threw that first stone of disrespect to her. I don't give a fuck what she was doing wrong, but you threw that first stone of disrespect when you called her out her name. You do not fucking do that. And you've been doing that shit a lot, especially when it comes to fucking females. I don't know what your fucking mommy issues are, but you a grown ass man and you need to get that shit together. And Duchess, how the fuck are you with him? If that motherfucker can talk to some bitch like that, uh, um, some other chick like that, imagine what he gonna talk to you when y'all really get into y'all relationship, when you really get fucking married. But then y'all the same fucking person. Okay, Duchess, uh, she just irks my fucking nerves. She just, I can't stand her. I really can't. She was messy this whole episode. So, when all that shit happened, 
you getting pissed off at Donna because, you know, she ain't where she's supposed to be. Let me tell you something. Caesar, that is partly your fault. Because every time we've seen Donna on this show, since she's been on here since last season, Donna has not really been doing any tattooing. You have not been sitting down, you know, telling her to tell you and, um, you know, shadow you. That's what I mean by tell. Shadow you. And, and, and showing her the techniques, showing her the different works, and um, sitting down helping her draw or, you know, just showing her stuff. When you're, in a, when you're being an apprentice, that's what your apprentice do. You're there to teach them. They're there to shatter you and to learn from you. Now, how the fuck is she supposed to learn from you when she's being your fucking assistant? Because that's all what we see her doing is assisting you. We never really see her trying to learn to do the tattoos unless she's trying to do it on her own because you won't do it with her. You're a bad teacher. And that's your fucking fault. And sometimes with the art like tattooing and shit like that, stuff dealing with people when you got to draw and all that stuff, it takes sometimes years to perfect those skills. But Chad, when you don't have a good teacher, it's going to take longer. And you're not the best teacher. You're not even a good teacher. You're not even a fucking okay teacher. You're barely mediocre. Because I didn't see you do shit. I didn't see you do fucking shit. And then you caught this girl in front of everybody. Like, that's what Caesar do. She do the most bitch-ass pussy shit. You get pissed off and you do it in front of every fucking body. You can't take her to the side, but you got to put on a show for every fucking body. So you gonna clown me in front of everybody, bitch? I'm gonna clown you back. Donna said I'm finna call my nigga, and then Dutch is gonna get her ass on the phone with Max, trying to tell her this bitch trying to talk and all this stuff, and you know she one that did this and yada yada yada. You gonna come for my man, and you gonna call Max? That's fucked up because Max is a game banger. You know he be out here at the shop, so I gotta call him, let him know what it is before he come up here and do some. Fuck you, bitch. You ain't even had to do that. And if you wanted to do that, y'all some pussy niggas. Y'all pussy. If you wanted to do that, why did you have to get on that phone and go down her whole fucking history at Black Ink to Max? What the fuck did that have to do with what just happened then? What happened was Caesar disrespected the fuck out of her. And you just sitting there cool with it. Because you're going to take up for your man. But you're going to get on the phone with her man and talking about some, when she first got here, she fucked Teddy. Then she fucked those shit. They got pictures of it. You know, she did this. She did that. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck they got to do with her job? And what she just did right in and there. That shit pissed me off. I cannot wait. I really can't. Ooh. When Sky go at Duchess next week, I want, I just, I just really want Sky to whoop ass. I really want somebody to beat the fuck out of Duchess. And I want somebody to deflate Caesar's lip too. Because, you know, if you punch his ass, that shit gonna blow up even more. Okay? I'm just not here for that bullshit. I'm just not here for that bullshit. Like, it's just disgusting. I'm just sitting here like, are you fucking serious? You see what this man doing and you just basically, you could donate everything that he's on. You're just here for it, okay? And um, she tried to come back and apologize. He just sitting there like, yup, I told, I told, mm-hmm, nah, 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 nah. Nah, bitch, you fired. She was like, bitch, I, you know, Donna, Donna did something that I probably wouldn't have did. She came back and she tried to apologize and make nice. Nah, bitch, it's over and done with right then and there. But you good, Donna, for that one, okay? Even though you don't do the best work, you good for coming back and being a big person and trying to apologize because you know, you know, you let yourself get out of character too, okay? Sometimes it's good to be the bigger person and somebody come at you. Some people can hold that shit back and be like, okay, I'm going to just walk away. Other people can, can't do that. They just going to blow up because you blew up at them. You know, but Donna turned back around and tried to apologize. But, you know, it was just fucked up. That whole situation was fucked up. Another fucked up thing. Teddy told Caesar that he was fuck he had fucked India. Caesar being Caesar, you know, he gonna discuss this shit with Duchess. Okay, he ain't gonna gossip with his boys, he gonna gossip with Duchess. Why would you tell Duchess? If you were not ready to tell, like, you could have told Sky or whatever, but you didn't want to break that bro code or whatever. Duchess, okay, here's the thing. Y'all going to the water park to have a good time in Jersey, whatever the fuck. Why would you pull Sky over to the side while they are all having fun and tell her this fucked up news that Teddy is fucking um, um, India and you don't even got all the damn details? It's one thing to be a good friend and let your friend know, hey, let me tell you this, girl. 
You know I love you and you know I got your back. Your nigga doing you fucking wrong. I heard he fucked that bitch and this is what so-and-so said because he told so-and-so. And, um, you need to confront him and see if that shit is true. If you need me to come with you, boo, I'll be right there next by you. Okay, it's cool to tell a bitch that, you know, but you don't do it when we all out having fun and shit in a joyous occasion. Bitch, you could have either told, because the way Duchess came at her, Duchess already knew what was going on, so she was sitting on this information, okay? You could have told her before they went to the water park. You could have told her after they went to the water park. But you told her at that water park so that y'all can see the drama go down. I, I peeped the game. I peeped the game because it's sure enough, they ain't going to tell half the nerd to fucking tell Sky, don't pop off now. Just wait till we get back to New York. You know how the fuck Sky is. Sky gonna pop the fuck off. She get pissed, she get fucking pissed. And you gonna tell her not to pop off right then and there? Like, girl, what? <laughs> and sure enough, she popped off on, um, what's her face? On, on, on Teddy or whatever. Now, it co um, correct me if I'm wrong. Was he saying that they was like doing threesomes or some shit? You fuck my bitch, I fuck your bitch or some shit like that? It, clear that shit up because he was acting so confused. I don't know what your problem is. To her, y'all was in a fucking relationship. And I'm so glad she called her on. So she said, you know, Teddy is a womanizer. He's an asshole. And I fell for it. My dumb, dumb sky. I said, thank you. You called yourself out, so I ain't got to do it. Okay, that was that. Now let's get to um Puma. Puma goes to see Med. Earlier, he had talked to Sassy and apologized to her. Mind you, Sassy was with them at the um, water park. And she talked about something. She feels guilty because she hasn't really told uh, Puma about, you know, her hanging out at Black Ink. Baby, you can go do whatever the fuck you want to do, okay? If that's what you want to do, that's what the fuck you want to do. Moving on. He goes and talks to Med. Med is his business partner who was once his mentor, okay? Med owns Ink. What is it? 214114. Puma shop, okay? Puma don't own shit, all right? He's just a fucking employee, too. And Mad got pissed, and Mad handled it the way that you're supposed to handle it. He wasn't trying to get disrespectful with Puma. He was trying to put it out there the way that he's supposed to, what was going on, and how that the, your actions on your personal dime can affect your business life. And Puma was not getting it, especially when your name, you're not even owning this stuff. It reflects back on Mad and his business because he owns it. And Puma wasn't getting it. Oh, you don't know what happened. Were you there? He said, I saw the footage. And then you got people tagging the shop name in it and plus my name in it. So, of course, I'm going to be involved in it. And it's my business. Here's the thing. When you own stuff, you can do whatever the fuck it is that you want. But when you are under somebody, your and still when you own stuff, your actions in your personal life can um interfere with your business life even if you don't want it to. Or even if you think it don't, you know. Let you get a DUI. That's going to be, especially if you're a popular person or whatever, it's going to be in the headlines and people going to know, you know, oh shit, you got a DUI. This motherfucker did that and he worked at so-and-so. So the business going to get involved in it too. Let you do something fucked up. The business going to just so happen to get indirectly involved in it too. Because you also carrying that name of that business. You have to take responsibility. Puma was not taking responsibility. He talking about some mad is just a, um, he just a leech or whatever. He was just trying to use him, um, uh, using his name. Puma, your name ain't that big. Your name ain't that big. Because when this show go off, a lot of people will forget about the whole Black Ink crew. We wouldn't care. If it goes off now, we would not care. Okay? No one is trying to use your name. Take responsibility. You was fighting. Your actions. Okay? Your actions, you know, fuck this up for yourself. And you just don't understand that. All right? This is what you call, you need to go to business one-on-one. -on -one. Take you a little class so you can understand what's going on. All right? You just you just can't be doing each and everything that you, you want to, especially when you don't even own that business. You don't own the business. So if he want to fire you for that because it's affecting his business, like he said, ever since the fight, employees have left and the shop numbers and, and, and business has been gone down. What is the common denominator and why is this happening? Because of you. So we'll take your, he going to do, he going to protect his asset. You have now become a liability. You know when you go to school and the shit just comes in and you like, fuck it, bitch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Access and liability, bitch. 
That's business one on one for y'all motherfuckers. Finance one on ones. Okay, accountant one on one. Come on now. Assets and liability. Motherfucker, you have become a liability and he is trying to protect his assets. Okay. So therefore, protect the assets. Let me strike out this liability. You have been depleted. You have been gone. You know, and that's what he needed to do. Okay. And he told you what you need to do. He gave you an opportunity. You want to buy the shop? You can buy the shop. But until then, you can't work with me right now. Okay, because you letting your personal life affect your business life. We talk about some. It ain't about um, Ink One Two Four, whatever the fuck the shop is. It's about me and Puma. Yeah, but it's out there, and everybody sees this shit. You live in a day and age of so, uh, social media and cameras. Everything that you do can be caught on camera, and all that shit got caught on camera. You know, and he still it irks me. He still, you know, because it it it. it was brought up about, you know, Caesar going to his home. You know, they still think Caesar was going to his home to fucking do damage or something to him. No, we saw the tape, and you mean to tell me you didn't look at the um season either? Get the fuck out of here. You just want to blame somebody but yourself. But, y'all, that's the episode. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. These niggas and piss me off. These niggas and piss me off. It's like I said, Black Ink Crew, um, Chicago. Fuck, you better come correct. You better come, you don't know me, you don't know me, y'all probably like, bitch, why they gotta be, but I'm just saying, I will go the fuck in, okay, I will go the fuck in, alright, rep Chicago right, don't rep it wrong like they rep in New York, I'm just saying, see y'all later, peace.